like I said, Kuri, when when you think no, I've got this, ehor, cause when you feel like no, I've got this, mojolo, or when you like no, friendship, ir. Okay, let's do this. In three, two, one, it's thrive time. beautiful people thank you so much for tuning into today's episode and i'm sure you can see by the size of the smile i am so happy to have you here if you're brand new please consider subscribing join the beautiful family we have on here if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for taking a minute of your time to spend time with this girl first things first house rules in here we like we comment we subscribe click on the bell notification and consider sharing with a friend you never know who might benefit from what we discuss on here so this is part two of my journey in civil engineering if you haven't watched the first installment that talks about basically my journey through high school and how i ended up in the Vaal university of technology as a civil engineering student i'll link it somewhere up here up here down here down here i'll find somebody to link it but please do sure to catch up on that so you can get a bit of context so picking up from where we left off now i'm a student of vut the year is now 2014 it's around january i'd say the last week um the last week of jan going to feb right by now i'm nicely settled into race because you know figured that it would just make more sense for a person who's brand new in an environment to live go race be a good girl and all of that so sharp now we're ready for class so before class we had a week of orientation i think i skipped this part in the previous video but we had orientation so basically with orientation is they get you all together like all the new students in every single department every single faculty every gonna every newcomer in this university is basically brought together and we're color coded you know engineering was given green there was the blue guys there was the yellow guys there was the red guys i believe and just basically divided according to now the, like barely say if i according to basically the course you have registered to or for right and then okay orientation so you they basically getting you orientated with your new home getting you acquainted with the vut the different stuff that vut does apart from you know just school and basically getting you acquainted with the val we visited the shovel what 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 we visited like a lot of ugh, my mind is foggy but we basically took a tour around the val it was nice and cute it was amazing sharp then classes started right so at the vut the Val university of technology when i was a student we had s1 s2 s3 and s4 but i believe now they have a full year of generic engineering if i can put it that way before you can actually venture out into civil engineering so what they do now is for the first year um of your school life you are an engineering student you're going to do all these different courses that were kind of mutual between civil and other um disciplines in engineering and then from like s3 going to s3 4 5 6 yeah for those then you are doing civil engineering so all these semesters are divided by six months each so from jan to june i've been s1 from july to december s2 then the next year jan to june s3 then july to december s4 and then from there you're done you just need to basically do your 12 months of in-service training and then you can graduate right so i remember in s1 and this is the funny part about being in a new place just being new to everything the fact that everyone was new to it and we all had different levels of newness to it so when we got to s1 so from the first year we had had ict skills we had mathematics one we had applied mechanics construction materials one drawing one surveying one and applied communication skills right yeah, I believe that was up until June of 20, 2014. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I believe it was seven subjects. So basically, you'd be given a timetable and 
you would attend almost every subject every single day and it was all good it was all lovely and then there was this edl something that basically teaches you english and whatnot and whatnot but that one you had until the rest of the year to complete it so with these subjects a lot of the subjects we were new to but our level of newness like i said varied so because i went to a technical high school i wasn't completely new to drawing it was a almost exactly the same a lot of the concepts were not new just that the degree of seriousness now was up there in as much as you're not panicking on you know what did he just say because the terms that he's using were very familiar and i think feel like that helped quite a quite a bit so if you are maybe a parent right now or you're a sister a sibling a relative and you know of um, a person who's still in high school right now and they they want to pursue the engineering field maybe it's still a bit foggy they want to but they're not sure i'd highly recommend that you advise them to become part of a technical high school just so they can get exposed to this quickly i feel like it took the stress level from this to this because i was familiar with it you know in as much as um we're all there to learn and no one is better than another but i just feel like you know your confidence level goes up there because you know it's not all bad because varsity subjects will dribble you especially the way it's approached because you come from high school where you're taught everything your teacher's gonna tell you to sit and they're gonna teach you and then they're gonna tell you to stand and then they're gonna tell you now you can go eat now but when it comes to varsity no one gives a shit. like it's up to you hey the lecturers are there to do their job and there are some that don't want to do their job and you have to fill in for where they're cutting up short so no one's gonna run after you no one is gonna tell you when to study no one is gonna force you to do your homework and unfortunately in doing your homework that's how you learn but if you are able to you know get your foot in the door before and get your best foot in please i would highly recommend it if they're able to switch schools get onto a technical high school right now i'd really advise that they do and then we head on over to semester two so semester two had maths two construction methods one drawing two management civil one surveying two theory of structures two applied communication skills um yeah i think that was it for the second semester so these subjects are kind of like a continuation from the subjects that you did in your first semester just that now the bella bella is up there someone keeps on adding spice the only difference is that our drawing switched from manual so basically using a t-square class pencil and your set squares to now computer aided drawing we were using a program called autocad i'm not sure if they're still using it now but yeah then semester three so semester three and four now fall into my second year and you know that thing you know when i say someone kept adding pelepen i feel like between december of my first year and january like between like you know the festive in between where you feel like now nah, i've got this you've passed everything it is so amazing you are the girl i feel like somewhere in the festive somewhere just, like right in the middle of the two years someone just took a whole bucket of cayenne pepper a little chilies a little jalapeno just everything Arr. Arr. Next year. You. so the second year came and this is where everything <laughs> everything started serving hands baba so he started doing geotechnical engineering um so ge te geotechnical engineering was divided into geology and engineering soil so geology obviously the rocks the whatever the whatever and the soils basically the soil which you normally construct on the different types of soils whatnot whatnot it's getting serious and then we had management civil two then we had structural analysis and i feel like if anyone could put a disclaimer on like the subjects you're doing if you're specifically going to study go for ut i feel like this is where i would insert a disclaimer that this is unfortunately where you are going to lose your mind and it is perfectly normal structural analysis structural steel and timber design three transportation engineering two water engineering two applied communication skills again and baby girl like this is the part where now you are exposed to the different 
basically different substreams within civil engineering because there is transportation engineering there's geotechnical engineering there's water engineering and there's structural engineering and then there's sub sub subs and under that and i just feel like being exposed to all of the everybody's all at once yo when i tell you you're gonna lose your mind i'm not trying to scare you i i'm not an auntie who will scare kids but when i tell you that you are going to lose your friggin mind you <clears throat> this is when you're now exposed to the real world now you kind of have the end result in mind and i feel like this is the point where if you hadn't thought of it yet this is the point where you start really thinking about which stream you might want to follow is it transport is it um geotech is it structures is it water like where do you find where where's your strongest footing i'm not saying choose now and only focus on that but of course you have to perform on all of them you have to perform good on all of them holistically but this is a time where you should start paying attention or like when do i feel most excited which subject makes me feel excited i'm not saying which lecturer I'm saying which subject because nina you see you know makes your soul feel like it is somewhere on a hot plate ne? then that's when you start you should because after you completed your studies after you've graduated it doesn't stop there you study further then we get to the final semester semester four right now this was from june to december 2015. so the thing about varsity and you know progressing in varsity is that your life is also progressing and your interests are being piqued in certain areas you know you suddenly discover other things outside of school and be warned Mujola doesn't run away beverages never run away playing house it's still there today now i was a student i don't know how many years ago playing house still exists now so don't get distracted by this many many pleasures of life and you forget why you went to school Anka. so we proceed second year second semester um there was now reinforced concrete and masonry design three there was documentation three geotechnical engineering three structural analysis three transportation engineering three water engineering three and again applied communications and yeah i think that was the end of the second semester in year two and like i said kuri when when you think no i've got this ehor cause when you feel like no i've got this mojolo or when you like no friendship ah ah there's just there's just no balancing with this and i just i i don't know i don't know how i did it because <laughs> i cannot imagine a life now where i'm studying full time and yo uh, i can't i can't i don't even want to imagine it now you are still exposed to the different streams in civil engineering but on a on on a deeper level now there's a deeper understanding you basically picking up from where you left off in s3 and the, the understanding is much broader now the terms are familiar like nothing nothing is worrisome nothing is but of course course or murio because i've seen a couple of people you know basically drop out they just stopped coming to class and 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 back then as a student i was like mm, you know some people are spoiled why would you why would you waste your mother's money on that because mm -hmm. so, <laughs> i have black say so but looking back i understand i actually get it i get it because you will use your freaking mind you know i remember the worst week worst week of my entire schooling life we had i think a test every single day or i think we had a test every single day we had three projects to submit um one was a presentation one had like a timed submission whatever we had to submit online by midnight and it was a group assignment like there was a lot going on so we'd have classes from eight to five right and then somewhere in all of that you still need to eat right and then somewhere in all of that you still need to sleep for seven to eight hours in a day and you still have to have to have to have like group assignment meetings and you still need to study kana now you're a student yourself as an individual you still need to study and you and you also want to participate in mujolo and you still want to have friends you still want to take the long walk to freedom to the mall yo it was just too much but in all of that i feel like one thing varsity has taught me is the resilience to stick through whatever if you say you want it you'll have to stick it through till the very end 
right? And then that was the end of my theoretical studies. In the next installment, I'll be getting into my practical studies where I had to complete 12 months of practical learning. It's called work integrated learning. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for tuning in and please don't leave here without leaving a like and a small onion a comment. I do enjoy hearing from you guys from time to time. Okay. Bye. <laughs>